The animation opens at a festival in Rio where people are dancing, singing, and having fun. This is three years after the events that happened in the previous film. At a similar location, birds of different species are dancing to music and also enjoying themselves. Among the birds on the dance floor are Blue and Jewel, who take some time off from their children as they spend time together. They kept the kids in the care of Raphael, one of their friends, but later see that he is at the party, so they decide to head home to check on their kids. Arriving at the forest, they see their three children as they are about to carry out mischievous acts with fireworks, so Blue steps in immediately to stop them from doing anything harmful. Jewel and Blue have been together for three years and have three beautiful children named Carla, Bia, and Tiago. Blue gets caught up in the fireworks which his kids put together, and he is shot up into the sky as the fireworks explode. His wife and kids all fly and watch the explosions in the sky, while Blue flies toward his family and holds them. Meanwhile, Linda and Chulio, who are already a couple, are on an expedition to the Amazon. They head out on the morning of the seventh day of their expedition as they tow their boat with a caged bird inside it. They intend to return the bird to its home, and Chilio records their expedition on his camera. The couple successfully releases the bird, which heads out of the cage and is soon received by its kind. As Linda and Chilio say their farewells to the bird, it begins to raise an alarm, but they do not know what it is about. They soon look ahead and see that they are approaching a waterfall. Their boat falls through, and they struggle to maintain balance and also control the boat. After a while, they are thrown off the water into the forest, where they land with a thud. Julio and Linda get up and look around the forest which surrounds them, and they see a blue bird flying in the distance. Julio looks surprised to see the bird, and he draws out his video recorder to get the bird, but it hits the device into the water. The bird flies off, but one of its feathers falls off, so Chilio picks it up and checks it to confirm what species it belongs to. The following morning at Rio, Jewel returns home with a Brazil nut that she found, and she plans to feed her family for breakfast. At their home, she neither sees her husband nor her children, and she calls out to them. She then hears their voices coming from Linda and Chilio's home, and she flies towards the house. Inside the house, Blue and his children are in the kitchen, where he prepares some pancakes for them. His wife arrives in the kitchen and sees everything which is going on and is a bit disappointed to see her children becoming too domesticated like their father. A broadcast on the television interrupts them, and they turn their attention to what is being announced. On the broadcast, Linda and Chilio report live from the Amazon, saying that they have discovered more macaws like Blue and Jewel. This news gets Jewel excited, as she is happy that there is more of her kind in the world and is elated that her family isn't alone. She believes that they should go to the Amazon to help find the blue macaws, and she informs her husband about this. Although the kids are ecstatic to embark on the adventure, Blue is uncertain about it but is pressured into going along. He later goes to meet his friends, Rafael, Pedro, Nico, and Luis, and informs them about his forthcoming trip. Blue's friends are a bit skeptical about his journey and they mention to him how dangerous the Amazon is. The day of their journey arrives and the family of Macaws gets themselves prepared for it. As they prepare for their adventure, Rafael, Nico, and Pedro come around and also decide to come along, so they would scout talent for carnival. Luis tries to follow but is left behind by the birds. Blue brings along with a fanny pack full of supplies, including a GPS, much to Jules' chagrin. Blue, his family, and his friends all set out for their journey as they fly across many cities and vegetation, navigating themselves toward the Amazon forest. Inside a market, Nigel the villainous bird who Blue beat off a plane sees him and his family as they perch to rest on their journey. He then plots to exact revenge on Blue along with his new comrades, an anteater named Charlie and a poisonous frog named Gabi. Blue and his family join a ferry that transports them across the water, but unknown to them, Nigel and his comrades have also joined the ferry. So, at night, while everyone is asleep, they come out from their hiding place and Nigel slowly moves towards where Blue is to kill him. But unfortunately for him, he isn't able to harm Blue as Charlie, the anteater, mistakenly blasts the ferry's horn and wakes the entire crew up. Big Boss, the leader of a group of illegal loggers, discovers Linda and Chilio's expedition to find the Macaws and orders his henchmen to hunt them down. After they arrive at the jungle, Blue, his family, and their friends initially find nothing. However, they are eventually taken by some birds, who later turn out to be Blue Macaws. Chilio and Linda see when Blue is carried by a bird, so they run after him but they arrive at a cliff and go no further. A few moments later, Blue, his friends, and family are introduced to a flock of blue macaws who are hiding in an uncharted section of the Amazon. Here, Jewel is reunited with her long-lost father, Eduardo, who she thought had died when humans burnt down their home. She then introduces her husband Blue and her children to her father. Although Eduardo is not impressed by Blue, he thanks him for bringing his daughter back home, and it is an emotional reunion for the birds. Jewel's childhood friend, Roberto, presents a song to her to welcome her home and soon, the entire flock of Blue Macaws breaks into a song as they dance uniformly. 
Nigel, Charlie, and Gabi finally arrive at the Amazon and the cockatoo has lost his ability to fly, so Charlie transports him. Gradually, the villains advance into the forest as they look for the bluebirds. At the place of the macaws, they finish dancing and Blue and his family are taken to where they would spend the night and also live for the rest of their stay. The next day, Blue wakes up late and is soon met by his father-in-law, who informs him that he would take him on a tour around the forest. Pedro and Nick, on the other hand, conduct an audition show in the forest and different animals come out to display their various musical talents. Eduardo takes Blue sightseeing in the forest and puts him through some series of military training and drills which he has to know to survive as a bird. Having lost their previous habitat to arson from the illegal loggers, Eduardo is anti-human and brushes off Blue's suggestion to expose the sanctuary to Linda and Chileo to ensure their protection. While searching for the macaws, Linda and Chileo come across some illegal loggers cutting down trees in the forest. Linda goes out to approach the men and scold them for the act they are carrying out. This does not go down well with these men, as they were already ordered to capture Linda and Chileo, so they chase after them. Meanwhile, Blue returns to the flock with Eduardo and does his best to fit in with the flock, as his family is doing, but his continued reliance on human tools prevents him from connecting with anyone. Nigel on the other hand, in another attempt to get closer to Blue, disguises himself and joins the audition for a show which is coming up in a few days. He wins the audition to become a performer for a carnival show that Rafael, Pedro, Nico, and Carla are hosting. Nigel is happy about this because his new position would get him closer to Blue, and he devises a wicked plan. He plucks a thorn from a porcupine, and he mixes with it Gabi's poison. Nigel plans on using this poison on Blue on the day of the carnival. Blue feels very distant from his wife, so he asks Raphael and the other birds for advice, and they suggest what he should do. Blue decides to make his wife breakfast, so he heads out early in the morning and tries to pick a Brazilian nut for Jewel. He accidentally gets into the territory of the Blue Macaw's enemies, the Scarlet Macaws, led by the hostile Felipe. Blue inadvertently causes war between the two tribes for food when he accidentally swats Felipe with a branch. Blue's father-in-law gets furious when he finds out what Blue has done, as the Blue Macaws are risking losing some part of their land to the Red Birds. The war turns out to be a football match, and Eduardo out Roberto as the captain of the team but benches his son-in-law. The match kicks off, and the two teams are at a draw. Blue implores his father-in-law to let him into the field and after some time, Eduardo agrees and Blue goes into the game. Unfortunately, Blue accidentally costs the flock their territory when he scores on his team's own goal. Linda and Chileo on the other hand are finally caught by the loggers, and they are tied together to a tree. Everyone is disappointed at Blue and the performance he displayed during the game. Later, he and Jewel discuss whether to leave the jungle back to Rio or stay. Jewel mentions to her husband that she would love to stay back at the Amazon, but Blue disagrees, and this leads to an argument. Blue then leaves to go find Linda and Chileo to bid them goodbye, as he decides to stay in the jungle with his family. He arrives at their tent and notices that their tent has been rampaged, so he calls out to them. Here, he gets attacked by Roberto, who accuses him of working together with the humans. They are almost crushed by a tractor which approaches them, but Blue saves Roberto. He then tells him to go warn the others as he goes to find Linda and Chileo. Blue later finds them where they are tied to a tree, so he releases them and goes to save a bird and her eggs from being crushed by a tractor. He takes the key of the tractor and flies away, then he witnesses the logger's destruction of the forest, and he stares in bewilderment. Blue then returns to the flock, who have already been informed about the danger coming by Roberto. Blue calms the birds as he encourages and rallies them, finally gaining Eduardo's trust. Linda and Chileo run to the deforestation site and try to stop the tractors from advancing into the forest. They then look behind them and see the flock of blue macaws perched on the tree ready for war. The tractor drivers suddenly get scared and come out from the machines, but the boss man orders them to continue with their work. Blue is placed in charge of the birds, and he orders them to follow his instructions. The red macaws also come out to join the fight as they fight together with other animals to protect the forest. During the fight, Eduardo flies into a tractor and gets knocked onto the ground. As the tractor attempts to kill him, Linda tackles the machine in another tractor and wins. As Eduardo is on the ground between the tractors, Chileo picks him up and lets him fly away. Big Boss tries blowing up the trees with dynamite instead, but Blue thwarts him and loses the explosives from the trees. The Big Boss tries to stop Blue, but Nigel intervenes, wanting Blue to himself, leaving the man to encounter an anaconda. Nigel then holds on to Blue as he flies up with the explosives and then reveals himself to Blue. Blue sees his true identity and immediately the dynamites explode in the air, and the birds, who watch, gasp out of fear. They both fall into the forest, tangled by ropes, and Nigel attacks Blue in a final attempt to get revenge. Then Gabi, while trying to help, accidentally knocks Nigel out with a porcupine's quill filled with her poison. 
However, Bia reveals that Gabi isn't a poison dart frog at all, but a species of tree frog and an overjoyed Gabi lovingly smothers a dismayed Nigel and drags him away, while Charlie leaves. Big Boss, on the other hand, is swallowed by the anaconda who attacked him and the snake rests on the floor as it digests its food. With the flock now under Linda and Chileo's protection, Blue and Jewel decide to live in the Amazon with their kids, though they still agree to visit Rio in the summer. Eduardo drops his anti-human stance by wearing a fanny pack of his own and accepts Blue into the flock. Nigel and Gabi are sent to Rio for study, Nico and Pedro's carnival show called Amazon and Tame goes on, and Luis arrives at the Amazon for a visit. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new movie recap. Till then, stay happy and chill out.